So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, sometimes you can take advantage of your <coughs> own clothing and trim them that way. So one, You know, and this can simulate um, also a, a grab. You know, if there was a grab, you know, that's the same wrist lock. You know, and this is where it's where it's asked. So any grab, you, you know, yeah. Now here's here's one like we do these two wrist locks. We do this one, and we show it to do this one because you're gaining the sensitivity of feeling how far to push, and he hopefully taps at exactly the point so you feel, yep, right there. I know right where to, right where to push it before. But one thing we don't often do is this wrist lock. And that's this way. And that is a perfect one if a guy grabs it on this way, you drop it right to the ground. And his face, notice his face is coming down, right? So, um, one thing with uh, you got a bigger guy with a wrist lock. One thing we don't we do we like try to go in like this. Or the thing is, come around here. But watch. Notice how all I did was a circle. Okay. So he can grab on, I don't care how hard he wants to, but I can come around here and I'll get out of it only by a circle. Now, I always say to do the opposite of what people think, and so like, I'll grab on. You know, if they grab, I'll grab on and I'll come underneath, take his leg up, come in, go for a submission. But what I'm doing is, circular technique. So this, with this one, wherever, even if it's a lapel grab, yeah, when you're trying to combat them this way or this way, it's going to be hard. But once you add a circle to it, it's not hard at all. Yeah, a little bit. All right, for that, this might be better. 